Hi, my name is Stacy Washington, and I am uh, thankful for the opportunity to be able to come and say a prayer, share a prayer with uh, Inspiration Retreats, and um, just to, to say a little about who I am. I'm a mother, a wife. I have two fur puppy uh, babies, and um, I love to see people smile. Um, my earthly profession is that of a nurse, in which it fits me well, I believe, because I love um, having a servant spirit and being able to share um, as in the spirit of hospitality. So with that being said, um, I'd like to enter into prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you again for a chance to just sit with you and share the words from my heart to your ears, God. Lord, I thank you for all that you are in my life, for the many names that you show up in our lives, um, not just that of Lord and God, but that of Elohim and El Shaddai. I thank you, Lord. Thank you for being Jehovah. Lord, as we have faced so many challenges on this week alone, God, I thank you for the opportunity to just sit with you and, and pray praise you for keeping my mind, my body, my spirit focused in on you and not being moved by what we see in the challenges of this world. God, though those challenges exist, Lord, I thank you for always being available to us and being there to hear our cries, God. Whether it's early morning when you're rising the sun or late night when you're hanging the moon in the sky, God, you always allow there to be a way, even through the twinkling of a star, to show that you are there, ever present with us. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for those, God, that are in authority over us, Lord. I pray, God, that they will seek you first, Lord, and, and seek you for answers. As the complexities of this world become even more challenging, God, nothing is above you. So if they're seeking you, God, then we can rest in knowing, Father, that the answers that you speak to them, that you give to them, will be exactly what is needed to heal our land from the aches, the pains, the disappointment, the sadness, the fear, the anger. God, that we can really... Be here and, and rejoice in your spirit and who you are. God, that we can call on you in any of those times that we need you, Father, and know that you are there with us. Thank you, Lord. Right now, God, I want to pray for those that are struggling to uh, see or have faith or hope in tomorrow. God, just send an angel that they may know if they would just cry out to you, Lord, that you can be there, that you, your strength, your energy, your breath can breathe joy into their lives. Thank you right now, Father. Lord, I pray for the children, both in elementary, middle, and high school, God, colleges and universities across the, the country, Lord, for workplaces, God, for families, for even the volunteers, God, that have come out in huge numbers to support the needs of our communities. Thank you for their heart to give, and thank you more so for their desire to even share a word with those that they're helping about you, spreading the good news of Jesus. Letting people know, God, that in spite of what darkness may come, in spite of the challenges that we face, in spite of the disappointments that we hear when we turn on the news, God, there is good news yet to be said, and that is of you and your son, Jesus Christ. And the love and the joy and the fulfilling of your promises that are yet happening 
Thank you, God, that COVID has not come to cancel any of your promises on our behalf. Thank you, Lord. I praise you for that, God. And I thank you, Lord, for stopping by every rest home, every hospital, every rehabilitative center, every correctional center, God, and letting those know that you are there. Letting them know, God, that their souls matter to you. Everyone's looking at color and race, but God, souls are what matters to you. And thank you that you find it, that you find time to show us what's important to you and to remind us that if we just seek you through your word, through the reading of your gospel, God, that we can really rest and live a very fulfilled life a very abundant life. Thank you for that, God. I pray for our nation. Across, I pray for this world. And I pray for those, God, that just think that there is no hope left. May you move expediently in their lives, God. I, I cancel every thought of suicide on today, God. Every thought of it, Lord. Every thought of it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. They shall live and not die. I thank you for that, God. And for the families that have been left behind to deal with the effects of that, God. Comfort their hearts. Comfort them in ways that our earthly words can never do for them, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.